G'day viewers, how you doing? We're going to do a setup and drive for the DOSTO 766.2 DBRZ DBBM alphabet and the rest of it. Okay, uh, let's just get back into the cab, not that I ever really left this time, and put our reverser handle in and put it to forwards. Key in on the brake, so brake key is on. Brakes are already applied a little bit when you get in. And then we're going to turn on CIFA and PZB and we're going to open the doors. So you can open them by moving the door lever and then opening with the grey one. Or you can just use your keypads on the keyboard. So Y for the left doors, U for the right doors and it does all the steps by itself. Right, we are pretty much ready to go in this one. Well, let's just check a few things. Headlights normal is correct. Should brake release, we shouldn't need. There's no speed controls or anything on here, but uh, you will need. There we go. PCB acknowledge, PCB release, and PCB override. Contact signaler is on the red button on the inactive GSMR. You can open the windows if you wish. Tosto is a bit quiet because it's got no engine. There's a sun blind if you want to use it. You can open that window as well. There's privacy blinds between you and the passengers if you care to use them. And apart from that, it's almost time to go. A few more seconds yet. And then we will uh, get a move on and get out of here. Alright, let's get the doors locked. Release the brakes. You can see the brakes coming down there on the middle gauge with the yellow needle. When we apply some power, we should get moving. There we go. Now, I know most of my tutorials, I start outside of the uh, the locomotive in question or cab car in question. Um, this one, if you get up before you key in, strange things happen to the brakes. So I would recommend that you don't do that. <laughs> so I started my tutorial in the cab. Most players would not experience that particular issue, and I have bugged it. Here comes Cifa. I just had the little light come on there on the right hand side of the screen. Just got to watch our speed coming out of here because we are under monitoring. I know the game says I can release, but generally speaking, I don't do that. No, we do have. Uh, Bounciness, suspension on the full Degosto. Yeah, I'm just going to come off the power now because if I get over 40 kilometers an hour, there's Cifa again. If I get over 45 kilometers an hour, it will whack me. That should clear when I go past this magnet. There we go, it has just cleared. We still have to uh, stay around 40 k's because that's the speed limit at the moment. for again. There's nothing to stop you pressing the CIFA button which is Q or circle or B on your controller depending on which flavor you have. As many times as you want whenever you want but I try and watch for the light and worst case is the uh, noise comes on. We're allowed up to 70 now so let's get on, on with that. I do notice on the track monitor we have a red signal coming but uh, they tend to clear out in front of you as your path gets reserved. It looks like that one may not, though. So it's getting a little close. There's the sound Cifa makes. On the next time Cifa happens, I will uh, let it stop the train. Just so I can show you how to recover from that. It's not particularly involved. This signal's gone as green as it looks. Got a thousand hertz. I'm just going to start slowing down now because we know we've got a red one coming up. So I will acknowledge, Cifra, I know I said I'd stop the train, but I want to 
stop before this red signal which is getting a bit iffy don't know that we're actually going to do it to be honest I think we're about to spad oh, we're going to be okay we're going to be okay I was a bit lucky. There we go. That signal has cleared. So we can power again. Now, notice that we are restricted to 25 kilometers an hour down here on the screen because we have a 500 hertz magnet. So we've got to be a little bit careful. It will clear when we go past the signal. But we can't exceed 25 before then, or we will be stopped. The magnets I'm talking about are the little boxes you can see on the right-hand side of the track next to the signal post. It's cleared to 45. So we've still got a restriction. So we can accelerate a little bit. I'm not going to let Sifa stop the train until we've actually got out of these restrictions because I don't want to confuse things. Let's just bring it up to 40. So I'll keep acknowledging Sifa. So we're getting uncomfortably close. Let's break a little bit. Okay. Keep a little bit of brake on because we are actually uh, going down gradient. We're getting uncomfortably close to 45. for again. Alright, that has cleared now, so we're allowed up to 100 kilometres an hour. This time when CIFA comes on, I'm going to let it stop the train. And then I'll show you how to fix it. Because it happens to all of us, we miss a CIFR or we miss a PZB. Here's CIFR coming now, the light's on, we'll hear the tone. Here's the tone, we shouldn't get anything from this PZB magnet, and we're not. Alright, oh, CIFR is starting to stop the train now, the brakes have come on, so we put our throttle back to off, let the train stop. On some trains you can acknowledge it before the train stops, and it will release the brakes on you. So we can release that now. We can see the uh, yellow needle, which is our train brake pipe, is charging up. The hop luft fitung is train brake pipe. Now I can see the yellow needle is coming down now, so we should be able to apply power. I'm looking at the center of the gauges there, this is the first small one. And there we go. That's all you need to do to reset that. So we will drive into Frankfurt, Maine, Sud, and I will end the tutorial there when we stop in the platform. Because that's about all there is to driving a Dosto. Alright, I have throttled back down to off now. Safer again. Of course, you could just ignore Safer and let it stop the train for you if you really wanted to. Alright, let's start slowing down now. We want to stop just in the green area up ahead. I normally turn these markers off, they're part of the player assist features in the HUD because I don't like them because they're not realistic. for again and we stop here at the halt board that'll do it's a little bit over but it'll do fine and we will open the left doors and I'm just going to use the key so I'm going to use the Y key for that 
And if we were shutting this down, let's just pretend we're doing that now. So we would uh, close the doors again. Bring our headlights down to reduced. Do a full service application and key out. Bring the reverser back to the off position and key out and come up here and change our signal lights to be table lights and then we can leave. Of course the passengers are going to be very confused because their driver is nicking off. But that's okay. Got stuck on something then. Kind of amusing. Alright, that's it for driving the Dostos. This one's never going to make it to Würzburg because I've nicked off. Alright, if you've got any questions, chuck them down below in the comments, and please like and subscribe. There are lots and lots of other TSW5 tutorials in the playlist that this one's in, and hopefully they'll help you out. Alright, see you later. Bye! We played a game.